You find me today right next door to the River Clyde. I'm back in Glasgow because today I'm going to be riding the Glasgow subway. And the reason I'm riding the Glasgow subway is because the second generation subway cars that have been around since the 1980s are finally being retired at the end of June. So I'm going to head to St. Eoc subway station now to try and find one and hopefully we can ride on them one more time. So I'm now on the platform of St. Eoc subway station, waiting for the next outbound service because we're going on the outer line. I'm going to head towards Cessnock. Just have a look there, see if we can find the old iconic second generation subway stock. So we're now on board one of the new Glasgow subway trains that are replacing the second generation stock. And as I mentioned, these trains are all right, but the ride quality is absolutely shocking on these. Like you're literally bouncing all over the place. Anyway, our stop is next, so we're going to get off and see if we can find some second generation subway stock. I've now made it to Cessna subway station and this is our island platform. I'm going to be waiting here to see if I can find any second generation subway stock here. But with four days before they get retired, because I'm filming this on the Tuesday, the 25th of June, I don't know what diagrams they're doing. I don't know if they're going to be out. I don't know if they're not going to be out. I just don't know. I'm doing this blind. <laughs> Right, I'm going to move on to the next subway station. I'm going to Kelvin Hall now on the outer service. So I'm going to film this subway train coming in and let's get to Kelvin Hall. Now made it to Kelvin Hall and honestly this is a lovely curve island platform here. Now the easiest thing and the most boring thing I could do is get to a subway station and stay there for 30 minutes to watch everything pass through. It only takes 30 minutes to do one round trip. Where's the fun in that? So we're going to visit different subway stations to try and find this second generation subway stock. So I don't think any of the old subway trains are going to show up here, so I'm going to move on to another subway station now. I'm going to Calcadens. See if we can try and find some there. So I have now reached Calcadas and it's another island platform. If you're in the area of Calcadas, I do recommend the Oxford, it's a nice chippy. Now, I do have some bad news because the subway train I travelled on from Kelvin Hall to Calcadas was number 301. And the subway train I travelled from Cessnock to Kelvin Hall was 301. So in other words, I think I've seen everything on the subway and the second generation stock is not out. But however though, I do know where one is, I'm going to head to Partick right now.
So I have now made it to Partick. This is the subway station, but you can change here for the railway station. Now I'm going to head out now, take a little break from riding the subway and head to the Riverside Museum because I did say I know where an old second generation car is. I'm going to show you it. So I'm now inside the Riverside Museum and right behind me is one of my favourite exhibits, the Caledonia Railway single number 123. And that locomotive is one of its kind, it's a lovely locomotive. But the reason I'm in the Riverside Museum is because one of the old subway cars has been preserved in the museum. So I'm going to find it right now. And the reason why I came to the Riverside Museum is, is that right behind me there. That is one of the second generation Glasgow subway cars now on display at the Riverside Museum. That is number 128. And that, that's the only subway car that's going to be preserved. All the rest are gone for scrap. So I'm going to head back to Partick subway station now because even though we've seen one, the question is, can I still ride one before they retire? So we're now back on the Glasgow subway. I have travelled to West Street subway station. And also it's an island platform as well. Now I do have a theory, because I've only got a couple of hours left before I have to go back home, because I'm only in Glasgow for the day. Now it's just gone three o'clock, so rush hours should have started right now. So I'm hoping while those second generation subway cars are helping out during the evening rush hour. It's a theory, but see if it pays off. I'm not giving up just yet. I'm going to take the next outer service and go to Ibrox. Let's go to Ibrox next. Next stop, Ibrox. So we have now made it to Ibrox. If you notice, this subway station is completely different. Not an island platform, but it does have side platform arrangements here. Also, you can change your Ibrox for Ibrox Stadium, home of Glasgow Rangers Football Club. Because especially this subway station can be busy on match days when Glasgow Rangers play at home. Anyway, we're going to stay here for a bit and see if we can find any second generation subway cars. So I think the plan is, is to get the next outer service to Govan. Get off at Govan and go to Bloomlow Depot to see if there's any old subway cars there. So I have left Goffin subway station, right behind me is Blue Node Depot. 
which is where they do the maintenance and keep the subway trains at when they're not in service. Also, Co is standing on the site of the former Govan's railway station, which closed in 1921. It's a disused station now with nothing around it, to be honest. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a walk around Blue Low Depot on the outside, not the inside, to see if I can find any of the old subway trains. To be honest, I've started to regret walking this because Blue Low Depot is absolutely massive. I'm going to try and find a road bridge that looks down at the depot. To be honest, I think this is going to be as good as it gets. I'm standing on Edmiston Drive and I'm on a road bridge looking down at one of the depots. And just down here, I can see some old subway cars of the Glasgow subway second generations. And it looks like they're stored there waiting for their fate for scrap. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to ride one today, unfortunately. So I'm hoping one of those second generation subway cars are helping out during the evening rush hour. It's a theory. I do not believe that, that was just pure luck. I just got back to Ibrox subway station and that just pulled in. So as you can tell, I'm not in Scotland anymore, I'm in Preston. The reason is because when I filmed that subway train, it was just gone quarter past five, and I needed to get back to Glasgow Central for half five for my train to Preston. But honestly, I literally gave up. I honestly gave up. Thought, I don't think they're out today. Let's go back to Ibrox Station and go back to St. so and get my train. Five past five. The second generation subway train arrived like that. I did say I had a theory that it was going to work some evening peak services and that's what it did to be honest. So my theory was right. But honestly though, seeing and riding the second generation Glasgow subway trains has really been brilliant today. And honestly, they have served the Glasgow subway for 44 years and they do deserve a good retirement. Especially one is now in the Riverside Museum. So I'm going to put another Glasgow Subway video right here, which is Glasgow Subway Roulette. Feel free to give that a click. People on screen now, YouTube channel members, Patreon supporters, thank you for supporting the channel. I've been Side Trains. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next station or subway station down the line for a new video.